Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Avila Rim Pro. Right now on my hand, I'm wearing a prototype of the ring. Let me take it off first. There is the OFN touch lens on the outer surface. And you also can see the sensors and charging pin on the inner surface. So I'm wearing it on my index finger with the sensors under my finger palm and the OFN sensor towards my thumb. Here is the OFN sensor. Okay, that's how to wear it. And then the next step is to bind the ring. First, we're going to find the Avila app. There it is. And click my ring. Bind now. Click start scan. You can see there's a Bluetooth name. That's the name of my ring. Okay, connect. Pair. Activated. Okay. That's it for the binding part. And here you can see the app. I have been using this ring for a while, so I have already have data on it. To refresh the data, we just do this. Okay. You can see there's a small circle on the right. Okay, there we go. You can see the data has been refreshed and my sleep actually comes out. So if you look at the details of the sleep, you can see I have a 75 score last night and I've slept for about five hours, 48 minutes. Efficiency is 90%. And my hour char is 75 BPM, which is, you know, fair. And these are the sleep stages. My heart rate, the black oxygen level. On average, it's 97%, it's, it's, it's okay. But you can see there's some fluctu fluctuation. Also, um, activity, that is the number, the the amount of activity you have done. Well, I have a pretty low score because you know uh, yesterday was uh, Sunday and uh, I just I slept very late last night. But here you can see the steps uh, and the calories, the active minutes. So after I wake up, there are some active minutes. I've been walking around in the room and also the MET score the mad minutes. So basically I'm doing very low intensity activities. So that's why I have only 32.4 effective mad minutes. Okay. That's basically the activity part. And vitality, I have 73 score. That actually is an indication of uh, your overall well-being. Basically, it's a measurement of your heart rate, your blood, blood oxygen level, you know, and all your stress, your stamina, and your blood, uh, body temperature. You know, all this combined together would give you an evaluation. So 73, you know, it's not that good, but it's fair. Um, and you can see all the indexes, the metrics here. Okay, so basically, I'm uh, uh, my stress is stays high all the time. Uh, don't worry about that part. Okay, if you want to look at the data yesterday, just do this. Okay, you can see everyday data. I'm wearing this ring for almost more than a month. Okay, so a lot of data here and. Below, you can see the trends, okay? So there are three scores, sleep, activity, and vitality. If you look at that day-to-day -day 
basis. You know, you can see the for the past week, my sleep score was you know、uh, almost flat. It's, it's okay, but for activities, actually, I'm moving、uh, sometimes a lot, sometimes very small, very little, and my vitality score is improving. If you choose to look at in the week, then you can see、um, in the recent week actually I moved very little, but previously you know I was I was okay when I was less busy.、Uh, but overall, I have a fair sleep score, and uh, uh, my vitality score has been improving all the time. Okay, so recently I've been doing doing pretty well.、Um, and Down the down here, you can see this. Actually, your you can choose whatever index you're interested in. So, for example, I'm I'm very interested in、um, um, maybe my my stress. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so basically, I have a a pretty high stress,、uh, more than fifty、uh, in the last week.、Um, this is average number of stress. And、or you can choose a different focus, maybe sleep, like how long I, I slept. Sleep stages, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So you here you can see、um, uh, in the last five days, I have uh, you know uh, uh, a lot of variations with my overall sleep time and the stages, but I mean, in, in the ratio stays almost the same. Um, that's how it works. Okay, and here the second part is the、uh, the AI advisor. The AI advisor works in this way. So basically, we have two advisors, Dave and Mira. You either talk to Dave, or talk to Mira, or talk to them in the same time.、Um, I will choose to talk to them at the same time because that, that's more interesting. But、um, For Dave, he's more focusing on your physiological wellness, and、uh, you know he's kind of like a doctor,、uh, so he's serious、uh, and sometimes he's a little bit harsh.、Uh, Mira, he she is a、um, basically a, a coach, and、uh, she's soft, encouraging,、uh, and most most of times she、uh, actually you know will find what you what you are improving and what you are you have been doing. Pretty well. So these two personalities are all based on our、uh, training and、um, settings. Okay, but if you talk to them at the same time, say th- imagine that you are sitting in a room with、uh, David Mira in front of you, then you you are going to have a conversation with them at the same time, right? And so how to start a conversation? You pick either three questions. So basically, the first question. How do you look at my data yesterday? The second question: How about my performance over the past week? And the next, I want to know more about the specific issues. So, okay, let me ask one question. But you know, how about my performance over the past week? And see how it goes. Thinking, yeah, that's typical for AI. Nowadays, okay. It takes a little bit longer than I expected, but it works. So here you can see、uh, Dave and Mira. They are talking in turns, and、uh, they have a lot of information for me. And I can click here to let it play. Chris, your recent metrics show a varied week. Sleep improved overall, peaking at 588 minutes. Your okay. So、uh, here the, the, it will be a very、um, like two or three minutes.、Uh, imagine it like a podcast, so you can leave it there playing when you are brushing your teeth, or pre- preparing your breakfast, or driving. You know, so you don't have to look at all this. Complicated figures and you know schemes, this data, and you know give you more personalized insights. And also at the end, they will always give you some you know instructions. Okay, so this is the AI advisor、um, feature. 
The third feature is uh, is um, um, is our zone part. Basically, it's for your social network. So here is uh, this is actually uh, um, uh, something like Instagram. So you can basically post whatever you want to say. Okay, post your story, and here you can see your friends. So basically, I have three friends right now. Uh, I can see the uh, if they are wearing the ring. I can see. And they are willing to share me their data. I can see how well they slept last night and uh, how much activity uh, they have. Okay. Um, and also we have some interesting um, gesture interaction with the friends, which I'm going to show you later. Okay. This is my ring part. So basically, on, on this part, you can look at this. This you will see the model name, device name the firmware version. So that's basically the, 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 the range basic information here. Here you can see the battery level and the charging status. That means actually we have 84% battery left and uh, we're not charging the ring. Of course, it's on my finger, okay? And the wear status, that means actually you're, you're wearing it, okay? If you take it off and put it on the table, okay? Let's see if you change it. Okay, it says wearing off. It, let me put it on again. It says wear on. Okay, so that means actually the ring is detecting your your wearing uh, very accurately, and that it's it's working the, in the in the correct mode. If something is wrong with the wear status, then you can calibrate it, so you, it will detect your wearing status in a more accurate way. But most of the time, it's, it's OK. Um, the, the feature of this ring, something very important, is a touch and gesture, which I'm going to show you later. So here is a, a, this is the overall switch uh, of, the, of the whole module. So basically, there is an OFN module, that, or you can, you can call it touchpad. If you click here, Turn it on, see, you have activated touch mode. So that means actually this small screen touchpad is going to start recognize your touch. Okay. But before we use it, we have to do this. Okay. So this is a very important. Go to accessibility, go to touch, and go to assistive touch. Click it. Make sure that the assistive touch is, is on. OK. That's very important for the function to work. And then you go back to the app and click Touch Settings. So here, I'm wearing it on my left hand. Okay, And here, I'm putting it on music and photo mode. So let me explain how it works. So first. Although the module is switched on to save the battery, this touchpad is not activated. So basically, you have to wake it up from sleep. OK. How I do it? Up and down. Swap. OK. Here you can see this little button has been let up. That means actually you have activated touch mode. Okay. After you activate it, you can operate the touchpad freely. You know, whatever you want to do like this. So basically, I'm controlling the volume of the my cell phone. And um, I can't take a photo. See? Or I can take a video. OK. Also, of course, you can, you can switch your sound or whatever. See, for example. Next song. Last song.
Okay, that's how the music and camera module works. And of course, you can use, for example, short video. If we use short video, let's. Okay. Okay, that's how the video controlling part works. And last is a slide and ebook. You know, it's uh, something um, very simple. Uh, let me find the books. Okay. And uh, here, there we go. Very smooth. Okay. That's basically for touch mode and for gesture, it's uh, it's a little bit tricky. Um, so here is a gesture operation button. Uh, sorry, on. That means actually the gesture can be recognized. But to start recognizing your gesture again, this is to save your battery. Okay, you have to triple tap the touchpad. There you go. You have activated gesture recognition. Okay. And after that, we can give it a try. Uh, we have five uh, different gestures available right now, but there will be six of them. Uh, one of them is still in development. Um, to use a gesture, you just do this. Okay, here, here. See the number of changes. And flat here, and of course, finger heart. Okay, and to give these gestures, um, you know, interactions, you have to assign different kind of uh, comments or interactions to these gestures. Uh, and this function has not been released yet, but we're going to do that later. So you can use these gestures to control whatever, you know, the functions or devices you want to control. But for now, because we already have, you know, so many touch commands, we have eight of them available right now. So to control your cell phone, we don't really need the gestures. But imagine you have smart glasses or other devices that you want to control at with your cell phone at the same time, this will actually help a lot. Okay. To save your battery, I would recommend, you know, if you're not going to use the touch and gesture model, just switch it off. Okay. You know, and then the ring became just a smart ring, ordinary or smart ring with health, fitness, you know, sleep, all these functions. That's basically the introduction of uh, Avila Ring Pro. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed my introduction. And uh, please understand this is still a prototype. So there are a lot of things to uh, improve and have a lot of tasks under, under development. But uh, it is a, a, a very physical and real uh, product. And uh, you're welcome to try it later after we release it. Thank you very much.